Hey, Steve. How you doing, Dad? Yeah, so. I'm all right. Bit of an improvement on the last place, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad, so it's not. How'd you wangle this, then? Well, believe it or not, it was good behaviour. <laughs> Typical. I handle a couple of cases of hooky scotch and get banged up three to a so with a bucket to pee in. You do somebody here and you get Kirkham Intercontinental. Well, I should write to my MP. <laughs> well, you catch yourself on, son. Just because I've got a few home comforts doesn't make it any less miserable, so it doesn't. I oh, know, I'm only messing. Oh, it's an open prison. Still a prison. Still spend most of my time on my own with my own thoughts. Yeah. So, that's why I brought you here. Let me get you a coffee. It's not easy, is it? Right, well, uh, I don't quite know how to say this. I'll just spit it out. Well, I think your mother might be seeing somebody else. Oh. Every bloke in here thinks his wife no, is... No, 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 wait a minute. I've got evidence, so I have. Like what? Like a mate of mine who's seen them together. Seen what, exactly? Right, well, you know she's working on the black dog, that boozer in Blackpool? Well, the fellow who owns it, he's been chasing her around, so he has. Why don't you think you should be having this conversation with Mum? Yeah, well, I tried, but she never even turned up for the last visit. Now, that there is suspicious in itself, isn't it? Where did you phone her? <laughs> she gave me some excuse about having flu, so she did. Dad, don't you think you ought to give her the benefit of the doubt? I mean, she stood by you. I know she has. That's why I don't want to go accusing her until I know what the facts are. Why are you going to find out what the facts ah, are? Ah, well, there you are, you see. I thought the best plan would be for you to go and stay. Oh, no, 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 no. You just go and visit her like a good boy should, right? You check out the lie of the land, let me know what the crack is. You want me to go and spy on her? I'm sorry, I don't think so. Look, I love your mother and I don't want to lose her. But I need to know where I stand, good or bad. So you're going to help me? Back early? Yeah, I've not been working. I wish I hadn't. Baldwin's been on my back all day. Who's this? Karen, this is my dad. Jim. What about you, Karen? But you're in prison. No, he's not. He's escaped. Is he still here? Well, of course he is. Where else would he be? If he cared anything for you at all, a million miles away from here. Karen, will you please just give it a rest? Do you realise the risk you are under having this escape convict? It's me father. Where is he? Still asleep. Oh, very cool. We were up until the early hours of the morning talking. Planning on where you're going to hide him when the cops come? Karen, what do you want me to do? Kick him out? That is exactly what I want you to do. Morning. Uh, Karen, I used your bathroom. I hope you don't mind. No, she doesn't. You want some breakfast? Yeah, that'd be good, so it would. Well, look, there's uh, coffee there. Kettle's just boiled, if you want. Sorry, so. pardon me. Do you, do you mind if I break up this cosy little domestic scene? When exactly do you plan to go? Karen, look, I'm really sorry. I just turned up like I said out of the blue, but really, I had no alternative. Yeah, you did. Could have slept in someone's doorway. Oh, or under a railway bridge. Karen! That's enough. Oh, is it? No, I don't think so. You realise the risk that you're putting us under, aiding and abetting an escape convict? I mean, he's got a record, and you know that. Yes, I do know that. And like I said, pet. I'm sorry I just turned up, but I was desperate. <laughs> and you're prepared to risk sending your son down when you get caught? Oh, don't worry your head. I'm not getting caught. I'm not going back to prison. Well, if you mean by that you're going to top yourself, can you do it oh. as soon as possible and as far away from me as you can find? Karen! Don't worry, Steve. Let her go. She's right. The last thing I should have done was put you to at risk. Why won't you turn yourself in, Dad? <laughs> well, if you do it now, then it won't be so bad, will it? No, yeah, I'm sorry, son. I'm not going back to jail. Listen, Stephen, I haven't asked you too many favours over the years, have I? The only reason I'm here is because I needed cash and some new clothes. Well, I'm going to ask you for a favour now, son, and if you don't want to do it, you just tell me. But I need to get to Blackpool, so I do. I need to see your mother. Yeah, kids, oh, actually. Don't the like, she's shopping. As long as she's not shopping, mate. Well, she wouldn't do it, I'm telling you. She doesn't like me, so she doesn't. It's not that. It's... She doesn't want it all to come back on me. She won't wind up visiting me in strange ways. Ah, well, I hope you're right. See, that'll be her now. 
She's either forgotten a key or she can't be bothered lugging all that stuff upstairs, on her. Hello, honey. Mr. MacDonald? Yes? Detective Constable Hawker. Can I talk to you, please? Police? You're joking. Get in the kitchen. Where? I ain't had to know anywhere. Find Mr. MacDonald, I need to see you urgently. Could you please open the door now? Look, I'm going to have to let him in. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. The, uh, the button doesn't work sometimes. I'll, uh, I'll try and budge in. Yeah. All clear? Nothing. <clears throat> Satisfied? Yes, thanks. Well, I did tell you. Had to be sure. If it was my father asking for help, I'd not let him down. Yeah, right. You will get in touch if he contacts you. Oh, yeah, of course. Right. Bye then. Bye then. It wasn't me who told him, you know. Yeah, I know. So he's gone then? No. He was here when they arrived. I sent him into the kitchen. Well, he's not in here now, is he? Lives, huh? That was just stupid. I want you to get out now. What? Karen, if he leaves now, the police will pick him up five minutes later. You don't know that. Karen, they're probably watching the flat right now. He's right. They'll be camped down the end of the street watching the place and they'll be there all day, I'm telling you. I don't care how you do it. I want you out of it now, otherwise I'm going to go and tell the police that you're here. Oh, okay. Well, all right, Karen, I'll go. But I am not going today because they are watching your place. If they see me leaving here, you two are going to be up your necks in it. Don't you understand that? And believe it or not, I don't want that to happen. Right. And I run away to my bed. Don't get plenty of sleep, we're up at five. Uh, Karen, thanks very much for your hospitality. I realise it's more than I deserve. Go to bed, eh, Jim? You shouldn't talk to him like that. He's lucky I'm talking to him at all. Look, he wants to go and see me, Mum. What's wrong with that? Nothing. As long as I did it without involving you. Well, it's too late for that. I well, I'm gone in the morning, Steve, and I mean it. Yeah. And I'm going with him. I can't believe you're doing this. Karen, he'd do the same for me. We're family. Yes. And we're family and all me and you. Well, you may as well save your breath, Karen, because I'm taking him and that's that. And don't worry, you needn't be involved. Involved? I'm already involved. I'm in up to my eyes. You think I'm going to let you two dead out on the road on your own? You're very much mistaken. Oh, no, hang on a minute. You're not coming. <laughs> Try and stop me. If at least with someone with a little bit of intelligence around, you've got an even chance of not getting caught. <sighs> Looks like a right dime. What do you think we should do now, Ellen? Well, I think you two should stay here and I'll go and see how it is. We're all going to end up in jail, aren't we? Oh, will you calm down? Well, we are. Let's see how it is. Look, I'm sorry about all this, lovey, but... As soon as I've seen Liz, then, well, there's really no need for you and Steve to be involved anymore. So there's not. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just tell me, please, why have you done this? When all it's going to be. I did it because I had to see you. You uh, see me? I was busy. I see you once a month, once a month. And I couldn't wait for the next bit. Mm. Mm. Oh. 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 Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, look. You. You. You and this man who runs the pub. Laurie. Laurie, 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 Laurie. You tell me there's nothing going on between you and Yuri. 
tell me, please. I want the truth. Whatever it is, it's doing my head in. The truth is, there is nothing going on. That is the honest to God's truth, whether you believe it or not. Well, that's not what I have heard. Oh, from? Never you mind who from. Oh, but whoever it is, you'll believe them sooner than you'll believe me. Elizabeth, don't you think I want to believe you? What the hell do you think I'm doing in this godforsaken place? Then listen to me. There is nothing going on between me and Laurie. Oh, yeah, he'd like it if there were. He'd <sighs> like nothing better. All right, somebody you know has seen him put his arm round me at the back of the bar. I'm not denying that might have happened. But that's as far as it gets and as far as it's ever going to get. Because I've been waiting three long years for you. Oh. Only now with what you've done, I'm going to have to wait even longer, aren't I? You swear to me there's nothing going on. I swear. Right. So get out. Move somewhere else. And where am I supposed to live? I don't give a monkey's as long as it's nowhere near him. So you're saying you still don't believe me? Oh, I'm saying I've got this picture of the Perry in my mind and it's breaking me up. Besides, you said he was chasing after you. So why in the name of God wouldn't you want to move away? I'm not saying I don't want to. So move. It's not as easy as that, is it? Why not? I need my wages. I, I need to make arrangements. So how long are these arrangements going to take? I will when I get the right moment, yeah. And you'll be back tonight? Yeah, but it'll be late. I don't really mind, as long as I know you're coming. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter who I am. You're looking for a prisoner on the run, name of Jim MacDonald. Well, I can tell you where he is. Well, well, well. You've got to get out of here now. Come on. Why? What's going on? It's what's going to go on. Fred Elliott and, I don't know, hundreds of others are going to be moving in here any minute. I thought you said Steve... I know what I told Steve and I was wrong. Come on. Right, all right. On your horses. And don't worry. I thought of somewhere else for you. Eh? Do you like being on a boat? Do you know, strangely enough, bet I haven't been sailing for quite a while. Uh, Cecil Newton, who's my sort of fiancé in way. Fiancé? Ask. He's got one more at Fleetwood. If I can only get you there. That sounds like it's come this way. Oh, hell, fire. I reckon someone's grasped me up, you know. Who would, though? Unless it was somebody who saw you when you come here. Oh, keep moving. At least now she's back, I can get her away to the next stop. Just hang on, hang on. Have half a black oh. bull sands in here. Oh, you poor sight. Hey, listen, Ben. What? I'm trying to ask you a question. Look. Has Liz said on you about your man Laurie and that boozer? Is that what all this is about? Oh, well, when I was inside, one of the lads said he'd heard that they'd been cozying up behind a bar to kill her. You won't locking up for your own good, you. Is that you saying there's nothing going on? Not going on as he'd like it to go on, no. Jim, you should know that. I know, but you know what I'm like, but I get some idea in my head and I can't get rid of the damn thing. Oh, no, it's the police. Here, the other side I'll me. do better than that. Oh. Give us a kiss. What? No. Come on. Now, nah, be gentle with you. Right. Don't be scared. Mm. Away, I'm all right. Why, heck, you've learned a few tricks in that prison. <sighs> You're a wonderful woman, Beth, and I'm very grateful. Uh, believe me. A lot of fellas have said that. Mm. Come on. Let's get a tram up front. Right. Onward. So... This belongs to the man who wants to marry you, don't you? Well, he says he does. Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be hanging around, so wouldn't Hey, eh? I'd be telling him tomorrow and soon enough. Yes, well, you would, you, because you're anybody's you. I found that out. Come on, let's get you stored away where you'll be safe. <laughs> it's good to see you, son. You all right? Mm. I'm hungry. Where's your mother? Uh, she's at Bet's wedding, that's why I'm here. I knew you'd be hungry. I got your cold stuff because I didn't know how you'd be fixed for cooking. Oh, 
Let's have that pie. There's uh, bread, milk, there's uh, chicken there. <laughs> and uh, we like the old whiskey. Well, son, you're back in the will. God bless you. Not that you were ever out of the will, of course. And having said that, not that I've got that much to leave you. Here, let's have a toast to bet in our wedding, eh? Slanja. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, she's a good girl. Saved my bacon last night. If it wasn't for her, I'd be back behind bars by now. Uh, listen, talking about going behind bars, we've got to get you out of here somewhere safe. And I'll tell you what, I've an idea how we can do it and all. Mum, are you going to be all right handling this boat? Oh, yeah, I'll be all right. Go on, Karen will be getting nervous. Hey, listen. You thank that gorgeous wee girl of yours. Say, so we're looking forward to seeing her when we get across the water. And thank her for all her help from me, will you? You take care of yourself, Steve. Take care, Mum. Good luck with the boat. I don't know what you're doing. England expects and all that. Well, this time it's Aaron expects some and all that. And don't you worry, there's not much I don't know about boats. Take care, son. Go on, you better get off. Dead in our lives. The notes we have had, I read it in papers. Well, you know what the crack is there, nicely, eh? Yeah, I do. Right, well, we're heading for Ireland. Ireland? Well, we can't go to Ireland. We've got to get the little one back. He shouldn't even be out here. Please, please, just take us back. If we just put them ashore, Jim. Yeah, all right. Well, we were going to Ireland. I know, I know. It's too risky with a wee kid. All right, Ash, look. I'll try and just drop you off, OK? Hope we won't get caught. Steve, it's me. We're heading back to the marina. We're in some trouble. Don't even have to bring us back here, yeah? Alright, right. Take your hands off her, she's done nothing! Hey, Forster! Please! No! Stop! Oh. Just leave it. Hurry up! Dinner, mate. I want a meal. We're alright. I'm not a corner yesterday, but. You always like the cues of my long souls. Oh, yeah, I knew it would be. Never mind. I was thinking about you. Yeah, I was thinking about you too. Those two big lads as well. Listen to Stephen there, have you seen him at all? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm in his No, just called in. Uh, well, that's the way it should be. All the family together, you know. What about Karen? No, not right now. Popped out. Uh, Stephen's there. Put him on. Oh, hang on. Son, what about you? Happy Christmas, eh? Happy Christmas to you. So, what's the crap you been up to? Well, you know. The usual. Uh, well, I wish I was there. Yeah, well. Well, listen, you never know, might not be too long now anyway, eh? Then I can start to get to know Karen properly. Yeah. Believe you me, I know how important that is. Yeah. Right, listen, I'm gonna go on and send you all my love, son, and best wishes to the pair of you for the new year, okay? Thanks. Hi, it's me again. Got to go. We'll talk next week. Bye. I'm so sorry. I didn't think he'd ring till much later. I couldn't tell him. Well, we'll tell him when we have to. <laughs> he said, um, I'm pleased that you found somebody. Only I've lost an hour, haven't I? And she's gone. You're too quick with your fists. You always were. Yes, 
I know, and I'm sorry. Well, don't tell me. Tell me, Mother. It's her that's going to be stuck on her own while your release date gets further and further away. I'll make it up to her. How? I don't know. Look, when I get out, I'll... I'll do that. She's going to hang on that long. <sighs> she will. <gasps> Why? You know, you're not exactly a great catch anymore. Stephen, look, you know what it's like in this place. Same faces day and day. You just lose the bath occasionally, you lose it, you know? You lost it over a tube of toothpaste. Is that how much she means to you? Yeah? Don't be stupid. Elizabeth is the only thing that keeps me sane. The thought of coming out here. <laughs> yeah, but you're not, are you? You know, it's going to be another two years that she's got to look at you through some piece of glass or across a table. Stephen, I don't need a lecture. I'm in this place. I know what it's like, right? Yeah, but you don't have to be in there. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I am in here, and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, you can tell her you're sorry. Oh, don't be stupid. Of course I'll tell her I'm sorry. And a proper apology. I know what that is. Think about it before you say it and mean it. Will you cut yourself off? Look. I'll write it down. Two paragraphs. How's that? See, there you go again, shooting your mouth off. Look, I'll apologise to the woman, OK? Yeah. Have me word on it. Well... If you don't, I don't think she's going to be here when you get out. <sighs> if she will. She understands me better than you do. Not anymore, she doesn't. What do you mean by that? Look, Dad, I think there's somebody here. I've got to go. I'll see you later, yeah? ta -ra. I thought you weren't coming. Bus will hurt. Come here. Oh, you look beautiful. Don't be daft. No, no, Mr. Gordon, you look younger every time I see you. One thing I'm definitely not getting is young. Look, sit down, Elizabeth. Come on. <laughs> Elizabeth, look, I am really sorry about what happened. I was just buck stupid, that's all. No, Jim, it was totally unacceptable. <laughs> Fine. That's just what the governor said. It's not just your sentence that's got longer. It's mine. I'm really sorry. It was just one split second I lost the bab. No, you blew it. You proved to me that all your promises mean nothing. Your temper will always get the better of you. One split second. Why don't you just let me explain what happened? Because I've heard it all before. A thousand times, Jim. You thump first and think about the consequences after. That's why you're in here. That's why they've just made your sentence longer. And that's why I can't take it anymore. Oh, I was angry. I was furious. But not now. Now I, I just feel let down. OK. Just stick with me in this, right? And I promise I'll never let you down again. I can't take that chance. 30 years? You, you can't just turn your back on 30 years of marriage. I'm sorry. No! Look, the only thing that keeps me going is knowing that you are going to be waiting for me when I get out of this place. No, I won't be waiting. I've waited long enough. I won't put my life on hold anymore. It can't be that bad. You've got Stephen. You've got... Deirdre, you've got a job to keep you occupied. I've got a husband. We'll see. One hour a month. Well, at least you're not banged up in here. I might as well be the life I lead. I'm just as much a prisoner as you are. Well, I know whose life I'd rather have. Then, my God, Elizabeth, I've just lost all my parole, and then my wife comes in and tells me my marriage is over. I mean, I've been lying awake at night praying this would not happen. Please, Elizabeth, don't do this. I can't carry on. I'm sorry, Jim, I just can't. Is there somebody else? What? Is there? No! Are you sure? There's no one else. But there will be, I hope. Because the minute I walk out of here, I'm a free agent. So one moment of madness, I'd 
lose it and lash out, and that means my marriage is over. If that's what helps you to deal with it, then, yeah. Deal with it? I hardly think I'm going to be dealing with it, do you? You will. And once you get out of here, you'll be able to start your life over. Get out of here. I tell you what, they might as well bang me up and throw away the key. I think I should go now. No, 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 Elizabeth, don't go. No, please. Please, Elizabeth, no, please. Please, please don't do this to me, Elizabeth, please! Elizabeth, no! I love you! No! Don't leave me! I love Sorry. you! I love you! And we'll be back. About you, son. Thanks for coming. He said ten o'clock. I've been here ages. <sighs> I just saying goodbye to the lads in the wing. Then there was an admin cock up. No one to process me. It's outrageous. Can you believe it? As if six years, eleven months, and twenty-five days wasn't long enough to be banged up in there. Does that include when you escaped? <laughs> it's good to see you, son. Thank you. Come here. You know, I felt like thumping someone when they let me out. Yeah, that'd be good. Get banged up just as you're coming out. That's giving it some even by your standards. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've got 40 quid discharge allowance in my pocket, and do you know what I fancy? I think I can guess. A nice, big, strong coffee. Come on. No. Oh, dead on, son. I've got some photographs of Amy somewhere. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bonny wee lass, so she is. Yeah, she is. I don't mind telling you. The thought of meeting her kept me going inside. I can't wait. Well, you'll see her soon enough. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea that you come to the Rovers, though. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Are you putting extra conditions on my licence already, son? Look, no one wants any trouble, especially me mum. Well, your mother won't get any trouble off me. She's got another bloke. He probably knew she would. He's a bit of a plonker, actually. I can't believe they're getting married. It's no account for taste, I suppose. Oh, look, there's, uh, there's Amy getting a duckling badge. She's learning to swim there. Your mother's getting married? Yeah. Yeah, next month. He works in the pub. Hi. Husband and wife together running their own boozer. That was always our dream, so it was. Yeah, well, she's moved on, hasn't she? Just hope you can do the same. Good luck with them. So what about you and Michelle, eh? When are you two getting married? Well, it's early days yet. We are open to move into the Rovers as soon as me mum and the fella move in. <laughs> you can't tell me his name, you know, I don't mind. Vernon, he's called. And you don't have to pretend you don't like him on my account. I don't. Never have. Make sure you give him a chance for your mother's sake. Have you heard you? Good luck to him. I hope you give him a chance for your mother's sake. Like you said, Stephen, we all have to move on. Yeah, well, you don't move on, dear. You? you never give up. She's marrying another bloke. You can be upset, you know. Believe you me, Stephen. I am sorry things have worked out the way they have, so am. Sorry? I didn't expect you to bring me here and tell me she wanted me back. Well, I was expecting you to say to me that you'd move heaven and earth to get her back. Burned me bridges, haven't I? Had me chance and I blew it. Been it. You must have had a lot of anger management. <laughs> Listen, I can go and get blocked and whack someone if it makes you feel any better. Eh, uh, no, no, this is fine. So, have you thought about anything about what you're going to do with yourself? Oh, I. Go and see my probation officer, observe the curfew at the bail hostel, move on, try and build a new life for myself. You said... Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, Dad, what do you think you're doing? Elizabeth, good to see you. You promised me. I know. 
Look, I was, I was just taking a wee look. I wasn't doing any harm. I'm a free man, you know, I can go where I like. You look lovely, Elizabeth. I'm really glad you're out of prison, Jim. But I don't want you hanging round here, I really don't. Oh, I couldn't cope with it. No, 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 no. Look, I'm not going to be hanging round here. That's the right, last thing. Well, you'll excuse me for just going. Yeah, certainly. Um, it's good to see you. You promised me. I know. What were you doing? Look, I'm <sighs> sorry. I'm not doing any harm. That's what I'm doing. Just taking a look at where I spent a very large part of my life. That's all that's allowed, isn't it? No, not in your case. No, it isn't. Well, fine. I better be going then, hadn't I? Your mother saying on about me? Not a lot, no. There's more me telling her how you've changed. How you can be trusted to behave yourself. Which is true. Well, we get back and find your study. Well, I'd better be going then, hadn't I? Mm. Just make sure you tell her. As soon as I realised she wanted me gone, then I was gone. Cheerio mm. now. Listen, do you want me to go and say Dogs? What dogs? We never bought these dogs. Ah, she's a great wee girl. Credit to you, so she is. Yep. You have a good life, Stephen. You think there might be any room in there for your Alma? It's not just me, though, is it? <laughs> I really want to be a good grandfather to her. I know. And a better father, too. I'm well aware of being a lousy husband twice. <laughs> Still. After all this, who knows, maybe I can make a decent ex-husband, eh? <laughs> Look, uh, my mum thinks I'm at the cash and carry. Oh, cut yourself on, son. Don't tell me you're lying to your mother already. I'd so. <laughs> Look, I'd love for you to stay around here. I just don't think that my mum and Vernon would see it the same. So you can't use your impressive powers of persuasion, then? I don't know whether I can, then. Listen, Stephen, I'm not going to cause any trouble, eh? If I step out of line just even once, that's me back in the big house till 2010. I don't want to go around upsetting people. I know. All I want to do is find myself a nice wee job, roof over my head, decent boozer I can have a pint in after work. That's what I want. It's family that matters now. She's got so much growing up to do. I want to be a part of that, so I do. Do you have to go right now? Yeah, she's hungry. She wouldn't get some food to calf, can we not? No, I'll have to get back. So Elizabeth doesn't start suspecting, is that the crack? I will tell her, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know you will, and uh, I really appreciate it so enormously. Right, you're gonna give your granddad a nice big hug? Mm. Come here. Thank you. Bye bye. It's been visiting time in the big house, this. I'll see you soon. I'll call you, yeah? Yeah. Come on, you rascal. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Just sit, but I mean, compared to your man, well, pfft. Sure, they were chalk and cheese in the day they were born, so they were. Oh. I haven't been on the pool with Steve, I'd say Andy would joke. <laughs> what about you, pig man? What are you doing here? Well, just killing time. I thought I'd pop in for a wee chat. Well, do us a favour, kill it somewhere else, will you? Where? It's too damn cool to be sitting in a park. I'm not exactly a window shopper and, well, I know what I'm not allowed, so yeah, but do you I... know what it's like if my mum flipping sees you? What? What's it like? I mean, what is she afraid of? All I want is a quiet life, but of course, if I'm not allowed, then uh, I'll just where disappear. Where are your shoes? What? Where are your shoes? Ah, well, they uh, they appear to have run off with my suitcase, so they do. What do you mean? Come here. There's more. It appears we have a thief in the bail hostel. <laughs> well, this is ridiculous. I'm going to go down. <laughs> Sit down, son. Anger management or not, I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. I can fight my own battles. Yeah, flipping looks like it. You're still here in your socks. Wait here. I'll go and get some gear from the Rovers. 
to. He can behave when he wants to. Well, thank you, son. I appreciate it. No worries. You bought me enough dinners. How are the shoes? Well, I'll tell you the truth, they're a wee bit snug, but no worse than stuff I've worn in the army. I bet they never had those daft tassels on, though, eh? <laughs> right enough. Uh, they were better in the shop, all right. Mm. Well, as long as they keep the rain out, that's all that matters. Nothing a pair of scissors won't cure. Some clothes in the bag just to tide you over? No, no, you're fine, son. Shoes I need, but I can manage without the rest of the stuff. I've still got a wee bit of pride, so I have. You mean dad, pride don't come into it? Ah, oh, well, now, there speaks a man who's never had a son. No, I appreciate it, son. And I'll I'll square you away as soon as I get back on my feet. Uh, no, you won't. I'm glad to help. Can I give you a lift? No, no, I'd rather walk. Might as well break him in, eh? It's miles. I know. It's not far enough. Believe you me. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going back to that place, so I'm not. Is there no way you can get out of there? Oh, aye. New place, that means rent. That means a decent job. And there's no way I'm going to get a decent job living in a bail hostel. <laughs> Catch 22. Streetcars. Anyway, look, yous are busy and it's my problem. I'll see you, lads. Yeah. Yeah, look, OK, ten minutes. Yeah, bye. Oh, how about you, son? Got your message. Good. You know, you look a bit rough. Yeah. Uh, falling off the wagon already, haven't you? Oh, you have little faith. No, we didn't get much sleep last night. We were evacuated. Some bucky just set fire to his bed, so we did. Never a dull moment in there, I'll tell you. You need to get out of that place. <laughs> yes. Chance would be a fine thing. Uh, listen, I know it's not much, but... Uh... Uh, listen, no, son. You've done enough. You're a good lad, but I'm not happy. Uh, no, 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 no. We were wondering whether you want to put in a few hours for us. Doing what? Well, valet in the cars. I mean, you'd be doing us a favour, but you'd be getting a few quid for it and all, you know. What about your man? Well, you cool with him. Well, I'm sure I can find someone around here who isn't. Yeah, well, I've not mentioned it to her yet. But as long as you stay away from her and love her, boy. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad idea, so it's not... I just don't want to be bringing any trouble to your door, so I'll be daft. Right, well, you're on. <laughs> I'll go and have a couple of quid in the jolly. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, just give us the chamois in the bucket and I'll get on with things. Is it Bob a job week or is this your way of telling me that you now work here? Ah, so Stephen hasn't spoken to you there? Evidently not. Well, he's got me washing cars and stuff like that. Mm. Well, you need to mind is that with a light on because it's pitch black. Ah, well, I got stuck with me probation officer. That's why I'm late. I'm sorry. Uh, don't have to explain yourself to me. Steve's the boss. I'm just a switchboard monkey. Listen, I can see why you might have a face on you. Oh, that's where Steve gets his tact and diplomacy. Well, I understand working with an ex-con is not exactly an ideal situation for you, but look, don't worry your head. <laughs> I won't be any trouble in you. Well, you don't have to worry about your purse. Oh, and incidentally, you might be the switchboard monkey, but I'm the general dog's body, so theoretically that puts me below you in the pecking order. Does that mean I get to boss you around? Hmm. Why should you send me out for a tin elbow grease if that turns you on? Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, when were you going to tell me? What? That your dad here has just joined the uh, Good Chip Streetcars. Ah, sorry. Uh, so how's it going then? Hostel still standing? Just about, aye. Yeah, where are you going yeah. to? Well, it's better than the big house, son. Aye. Right. Mm. Now I've got this wee job, then things are looking up. Aye. Good o. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Oh, listen, before you go, when's a good time for me to go and see Amy? Uh, Well, leave me with it. I'll uh, sort something out. Grand, we're back. Big girl, you'll be complaining next if you've got our spades knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Liz, what can I do for you? Oh. Uh, right, look, there you are, I'll uh, I'll on. Uh, no, no, it's you I've come to see, actually, I need a word. Oh, well, uh, what can I do for you? Well, it's, um, your lucky day, I mean, promoted from, uh, car washer to second in command on the switch. Thank you. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes, Elizabeth. God, it's good to see you. Don't start. What? I can't even pay you a compliment now? No, you can't soft soap me because I know you too well. Well, I can't argue with that. After all, we were... We were married for 27 years. 
Yeah, about 20 years too long, in my opinion. Oh. Well, you certainly know how to hurt a man. Do you know what? It suited me, you being in prison, because I knew what you were doing. I had nothing to worry about. Liz, you have nothing to fear from me. Do you know what are you doing here? I know, one way or another, you're out to cause trouble. Look, I can't blame you for thinking badly of me. But Elizabeth, you have it wrong this time. So why don't you go somewhere else? Go see Andy, eh? You've not seen him for ages. Well, are you sure Spain's quite far enough? I'd prefer Australia, but it's not up to me, is it? Look, Elizabeth, darling, I've made an awful mess of my life over the years pretending to be some macho, stupid, buck idiot. I've learned the hard way. But I realise now, all that matters is... All that matters is the people you love. I mean, who the hell does she think she is, Fizz? Oh. You know, then, Mom, you Cut yourself on, Bill. Sure, you can have a pint even if I can't. Oh, you two have met, haven't you? Only in my dreams. <laughs> Don't let your Steve hear you say that, eh? Oh, I see. You must be Michelle. Yeah, and you must be Jim. I certainly am. Thank you. Ah, Elizabeth. How are you? It's good to see you. Jim? Bill? How are you? Sorry, I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, pipe for me then, Michelle, and honest for Jim. Well, I've got the place looking good, so you have. Yeah, thanks. You're not settling in for the night, are you? Uh, no, look, I got the message loud and clear. I'll, I'll soon be on my way, I promise. <laughs> oh, well, now, isn't that a sight to gladden an old granddad's heart, eh? Ah, oh, Grandad Jim. How are you? How are you, Ken? I'm all right. Deirdre? Fine. Come here, you and how are you, we love? Have you had a nice day? Oh, come on, Amy. Come on round and see me. Oh, she's grand, isn't she? She certainly is, but it's way past what? the bedtime. Already, isn't it? All oh. right, uh, all right. Night, night, we lamb. She's had her tea. Yeah. Night, night, Amy. Thanks for a lovely day. <laughs> are you two going to stay for a drink? Uh, yeah, may as well, if you'll join us. Yeah. Right, well, I'd better finish my drink and get away on then. Hey, relax, Jim. We've only just got here, for God's sake. Uh, no, he needs to get back to the hostel. Yeah. Best not, eh? Well, in it enough that you can't have a proper drink. Now, come on, it's my round. Same again for Jim and Bill, please, Liz. <laughs> right, I'll just take Amy through. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, gorgeous girl. I thought you'd well, always have some fun. Oh, it's right down my back. Oh, so, God, so here we go. Son. <sighs> no, sorry. It's all right. You OK, love? I'm OK. You've got the full force. <sighs> right, listen, I don't want any trouble here, all right? Ah, he's not causing any bother, so And that goes for you as well. <laughs> Look, I'm not the one causing trouble, Elizabeth. I'm not causing any trouble either. No, he's not at all. He's just a wee bit unsteady in his feet. Here, come on. Yeah, it's a shandy like way. Well, if that's all he is, then he's fine. Go on you over there and find some doors to play with. There you are, good boy. Right, just met this one your last day. Oh. Right, give us a towel there, Elizabeth, would you? And you. Sure it's not long since our lads were like that, eh? <laughs> Let me get you a drink. No, no, you're, you're all right. You go over there, join your mates. This one's on me. Oh, thank you. He said he'd stay away. He promised. Hey, come here, Jim. I uh, certainly am. Good night, Elizabeth. Thanks very much. Jim, can we, uh... uh yeah, 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 of course, of course. Will he? See you tomorrow, son. Yeah. Well, so what can I do for you? I just feel that I should act more normal around you. Because whatever's gone on in the past, we've got two sons together, haven't we? Uh, we do. And a granddaughter as well now. And a lovely wee girl she is too. I'm really sorry I've not been very welcoming to you, have I? Oh. Elizabeth, look... 
I didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet for my behalf. No, but I don't want to create an atmosphere either. I don't want Steve to have to choose between you and me. I'm not here to make trouble, and I'm not going to cause any difficulties between you and Steve, or you and Vernon, for that matter. And you must be... Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. Sorry I'm late, love. This is Jim. Yeah, I gathered. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just thought I should get a few things out in the open, that's all. No trouble? No, nothing at all. I don't want to upset. Relax, Vernon. Like I say, I'm not here to cause trouble. The past is gone. The future's what matters now. You won't even know I'm here. So I'll uh, say goodnight. Goodnight, Vernon. Elizabeth. Well, he's got some front. God, what a night. I knew it. Now, what happened? Have you got a grandmother? Just the one? Why? Are you applying for the vacancy? Would you be happy charging her £1.50 for a cup of tea that tastes like yesterday's dishwater? I take it our tea doesn't meet your high standards, Blanche. So, there you go. There's £1.50 and my heartfelt, sincere apologies. Thank you. <laughs> You causing trouble already, Blanche? Your tea inside were probably better than this bilge water. Oh. Taste that. Right. Oh, right enough. That there could be coffee. It could be chicken noodle soup for all it resembles tea. <laughs> I'll bring a thermos in future. Not a problem. You're a valued customer. Here, Blanche, between you and me, have a good thing in the 2.30. Come on. I'm not in the habit of consorting with them that have been inside. Oh, I see. How's we, Trizzy? The 2.30, you said. Hmm. Still, Blanche, you must be looking forward to the wedding, you know, Elizabeth and Vernon, eh? Oh, not fagged on weddings. All that dancing and singing. I prefer a funeral. Anyway, haven't had me invite yet. Oh, I see. I mean, still, he seems like a nice enough fella, Vernon, you know what I mean? He's landed on his feet, I'll say that for him. Married to a landlady. Must think all his Christmases have come at once. But, I mean, he does his fair share over there, doesn't he? Ha. Ah, supposed to be cellar man. But spends so much time sat down, it's hard to tell where his backside ends and the bar still starts. Really? Uh... Just a few of us going to town. Like... Yeah. <coughs> Hey, snotty cow in that shoe shop, making me wear a pot and sock. What were all that about? Ladies. Same old Jim, obviously spent the day in the bookies, by the looks of it. With my mother? <laughs> what have you two been up to? A paint in the fourth bridge. What's it look like? <laughs> Gambling. Thought you were a change man. Ach, no, sure. I've given up the booze and my title to one vice besides. Blanche and I had a wee bit of luck, didn't we, darling? Our horse came in eight to one. Earned half me week's uh. pension in five minutes. Can't be bad, right? Drinks are on you tonight, then, Mother. You've had that. This is going towards a new hat for this wedding of yours. If I'm invited, that is. Lunch, of course you are. Mm. Hey, come on, then. I can stretch to a fish supper. Play your cards right. See you later. <laughs> See you, thanks, right. Steve. I enjoyed our wee chat, so I did, Blanche. <laughs> well, a man's entitled to a bit of female company after such a long lie down inside, don't you think? <laughs> oh, hi, John. Come in. Amy, oh, yeah, right. Oh, Amy, uh, next door. Barlow's. I, I should have. Um... You won't be long. Right, well, I'll stay here if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Right, see you in a wee bit. I vow always to be there for you. My name will be forever one with yours, like Romeo and Juliet, Sonny and Cher, Newton and Ridley, and 
Doctor. And? Lads, I'd have put money on the fact that Andy would have been the success and not Stephen. Ah, yeah, but our Steve's always had that bit of something about him, hasn't he? Aye, <gasps> ah, has indeed. Well, look at the state of him now. He's that successful. He's got the pair of us working for him. <laughs> <laughs> right. We... Oh, here you go, Grandad. Oh! Oh, how's my wee princess? Are you ready for your old granddad to spoil you all day now, <laughs> eh? <laughs> right, all the way on. Oh, here, Elizabeth. I like your hair. Are you all right? Ta. Yeah, I was, was going to uh, gonna mention the... Uh, mention the Ta. Hiya. Vernon. Vernon, your wedding vows. Hey? Your wedding vows. I put them underneath the cushion on the sofa. I didn't think you'd want Elizabeth to see them, all right? Cheerio now! Hang on a minute! You read my vows. <laughs> yes, Vernon, I did. They were on the table. Well, you had no right. Well, no, I don't suppose I did. Look, I'm sorry if you're upset, son. Well, yeah, you could say that. I didn't think you'd want Elizabeth to see them. True. Thanks. My pleasure. So, are we done? Yeah. Good. Cheerio. Ah, uh, Vernon. They really were dead good, though, you know. Oh, do you think? Oh, hi. I mean, I've known Elizabeth 30-odd years, and I'll tell you this and I'll tell you no more. It'll bring a tear to her eye, so it will. Oh, ta. Huh. I mean, you know, that double act thing. Brilliant. But, listen, word of advice, Aunt and Dick. Eh? Aunt and Dick, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> no, that was my writing. That was Aunt and Cleo, Anthony and Cleo Pat. 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 <laughs> Very good. <laughs> What in the name of God does your granny see in that wee man, eh? He's some pup, isn't he? <laughs> Evening. Elizabeth. I was uh, in the vicinity, you know, passing by. I thought I'd, well, I thought I'd pop in and see how you were doing. What would you like? Well, I'm still on the water, so I'll tell you what, if you can spare me one of them, that'll be dead on. Is that, uh Vernon stag night getting underway? Yeah, I think it might have been, yeah. Uh-huh. Not the biggest stag night I've ever seen. A man of few friends, I take it. If you're trying to get me to say things about Vernon, you're wasting your breath. No, oh, not at all. Cheers. No, you've made your choice. I don't suppose there's anything I can say that make you change your mind. There isn't. Hmm. Still, friends aren't everyone, are they? Question is, will he make you happier than I did? Wait, wait. You recover from last night? <laughs> have I recovered from last night? Have I recovered from last night? Have I? Well, I don't know, now, do I? Yes, I have. Two litres of water and a pickled egg. Always works for me. Yeah, I'll never get that drunk, so I wouldn't know, would I? <laughs> so says the man who calls Spirit in the Sky a classic in the taxi. Yeah, oh. but it is. Hey, do you know what Liz's book says strip on? I don't know. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, what does this guy have all that thing? No, it's, it's, no, it's like a male stripper. Oh. Yeah. Commando Sam. Ah, oh, well, there you see, that was always Elizabeth's problem, so it was. She could never resist a man in uniform, eh? Feel that. No, oh, listen, these aren't man boobs, you know. That's real muscle. Mm -hmm. right? oh, got a fair set of pecs on the uh, on the drums. I've mm -hmm. still got the same waistline as when I were 20. Vernon. In fact, I can still get into the thong I lost my virginity in. Vernon. Obviously, I, I took it off. Vernon, is there a point to any of this? Yeah, I mean, why is she wasting her money on that? I could have done a strip for them. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Hello, can I have your attention, please? Right, as you uh, may or may not know, tonight is my official and hopefully... Final tonight! <laughs> but as well as that, tonight is a ladies only night! Yeah. 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 So, gentlemen.
gentlemen, please down your drinks and head towards the door. Out, out, out. Now, the glamorous barmaids of mine here are not working tonight. They're here to enjoy themselves as well. Yes. So just come behind the bar and help yourselves to drinks. Oh. <laughs> but there is an honesty pot next to the till. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, then, come on, fellas. Shift your backsides. Right. Come on, go on. Off you go. Oh, you love to oh, you're leaving. <laughs> I always thought you were a man in drag. <laughs> Be? Jason says you're going to be all alone this Christmas. Oh. Does he? Well, we can't have that. So, why don't you join your son at ours on Christmas Day? We eat at one. Don't bother bringing anything. Good night, Mum. Hey. Uh, oh. He's just getting changed. <laughs> Good morning, Betty. Hello, love. Do you mind if I go through? Well, if that's the plan. No, that's the plan. Okay. The compliments of the season. Oh, and you, my love. <laughs> Go on, Jim, take a chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, where's all the creams, eh? Ah, Vernon. Hey, you're some beast of you are, Vernon, aren't you? Well, so they say. Mm, big suntan beast, eh? It's called a sunbed. Have you heard of him? You're too skinny. Make sure you get some food down you this afternoon, eh? Yeah, I will eat, drink and be merry, Jim. That's the girl. Listen, Dad, um, why don't you stay and have lunch with us? Oh, no, sure, don't want to be any bother. I wouldn't mind a couple of hours in the bar, you know? If, if nobody minds, you know, a bit of company for me. And don't worry, I'll be on the water. Of course, yeah. Um, listen, thanks again for having me stop. Well, I wish it could have been more sun, you know what I mean? Where's our little princess then? Oh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right then, who's Merry having Christmas. one to drink? Would you Merry like a sherry blanche? Bar, so I'll have a snowball. Okay. What about you, son? Oh, hi, Dad. Listen to the fur. Uh, no, no, I've got to go into town and get some new shoes for this wedding. Fancy a wee bit of company. I know you're into shopping. Well, anything without bars and the windies will do me these days. <laughs> well, dive in. Stephen's cutting it a bit. Thank Thank the Lord. I sure he was looking to pay a bare red cowboy boot, so he was, but I might start talking about it, you know what I mean? Huh? Well, I'm uh, glad to hear it. Here, Vernon. Is my wedding invitation in the post? It's all so slow. No, I don't think so. Why, is he bothering no. you? No, no. Because no, no, I can no, say no, something. It's, it's fine. fine. Well, in all, I mean, he's an obliging enough fella, so he is, you know, he takes a joke. <laughs> I think forgiving is the word you're looking for. <laughs> You'd need to be, wouldn't it? No, no, what I mean is, uh, I think that's part of the attraction, you know what I mean? What do you mean by that, there? Well, um, yeah, she had a bit of a thing with the drain man a few months back. She never did. Oh, yeah, Fernand found out that you know what hit the fan and, uh, well, took her back in the end, mind. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day, so you do. Listen, you've not heard this from me. No, 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 not at all, no, no. Wouldn't say a word, son. <laughs> ah, yes, Vernon, sad but true, sad but true. Don't panic, Lauren has entered the building. Although apparently I'm a better man for it, so I am. Yeah, well, I'm a bit too weak-willed for all that, me. Ah, I can see that. We can't all be free of sin, but else Liz would be bored out of a tree. All right. Hey, yeah. Hey, is this going away? Do free beers? Then or what? I think they were hoping you'd be paying. All right, I'll get these, Molly. Uh, white wine, please. Okay, I'll just more. Uh, hello, me and all. Okay, pint for me. All right, so, so two pints of lager, large white wine, small lemonade, and a packet of crisps, please. Coming up. You know, it's funny. I don't remember there being a farewell party when I went away. <laughs> Vernon, delivery's here, and you've got a minute. Oh, I am right on it, my angel. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Oh, however will we cope? Hey, uh, Vern, listen, I don't mind getting that if you you want to carry on serving. Uh, Jim, I, I'm not being funny, mate, but uh, if you have a look around, you'll see that me and Liz aren't doing a bad job of running this pub. <sighs> we don't need any help other than what we've already got. Hey, you you just stay here and enjoy your orange juice, yeah? Ah, well, now that's put me in my place good and proper. Well, just making sure you know, that's all. Oh, I get the picture. You carry on.
Well, Vernon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Vernon. Come here. Listen, I think we've solved our wee problem, so we we'll have. Yeah, we've sorted out this Sunday. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, Jim is going to look after Amy, mm -hmm. so I can do all the wedding stuff and all that, and you can do what, whatever it is you're doing with Bob. Hi. Rocking and rolling and banging your wee instruments together, you know what I mean? Sure, it's not for poor do if I couldn't help you out on a special occasion, eh? Well, Tom said, I thought there's a bit left of you. Just you uh, find a sunbed shop, top your tan up, eh? Oh, wait a minute, you're not doing a runner, are you? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> None of my business anymore, son. Hey, look, I wish you all the best for tomorrow, eh? Oh, come on, Vernon, don't leave me hanging here, eh? I have no intention of stealing your bride to be. You'll probably think I'm a coward, don't you? Well, you might be right. But I'll tell you this. You won't bully me. I love Liz. And I'm gonna marry her tomorrow. Of course you are, pop star. Of course you are. And you're both gonna live happily ever after, aren't you? Have you checked your passports? Yeah. yeah it's just to make sure. Yeah, I could do that. I'll see you later. Right, it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Okay. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Right then, Mrs. What about this here? Uh no, to the left a bit more. Left. Mm -hmm. Left. How's that? Perfect. Right. Where's everyone going? Uh, we're all off doing jobs. All right. Did I ask Steve to go to the florist? Yes, you did, I. Hmm. Oh, I could murder a fag. Ah, well, there you are. You see, she can resist everything but temptation. Yeah, well, there's never a right time to give up smoking. Really? What about the summer of 74? What? Summer of 74, you tried to give up smoking, so you did. You remember? Ah, we were on holiday, the pair of us, on a 900cc quacker doing the Highlands of Scotland, and you tried to give up smoking now, not because you were worried about your health, oh, no, it's because we were both skint. You remember that? Oh, I do, certainly. You try being locked up 24 hours a day. Believe you me, you do a lot of remembering. Tea up! Right. You can eat your tea off that floor. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, James Dewberry. I thought you were reading him a story. Ach, no, Michelle. Took her upstairs to try a wee dress on her, you know. Right. Well, there's loads of work to be done through there, if you're not busy. All right, well, uh, I'll kiss. Lead on, eh? What's that thing? <sighs> no. What are you doing? Oh, shh, stop. Stop it now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, for, I forgot. I... No, I didn't forget. I just remembered. I remember. I'm sorry. If I let you go, will you promise not to hit me? I'll tell you what, I'll take a chance. Don't do it again. No, Liz. Dietrich, hey, you will not be Hey, gorgeous. Hi. You back? I couldn't bear to be away from you. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. What about you, Vern? Uh, listen, I thought it was bad luck to, you know, see the bride before the big day, eh? Well, I'll take a risk. Right. Look, out of the way on, I don't want to get in anybody's way, okay? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, the place is looking great. Come here, my bride <laughs> to be. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> What kept you? What are you doing here? Well, I was counting on you having a fag, so I was. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm trying to stop. Oh, looks like it. Well, you can't blame me for having one last one to steady my nerves. Doesn't mean I'm up, does it? Doesn't it? See, some habits are very hard to kick, so they are. You'd be surprised. Especially when they're bad for you. Oh, come on, Christmas. 
You and I have made a lot of mistakes over the years, but underneath it all, nothing's changed between us. You're still the wee girl I married. Jim, I don't want this. Yes, you do. Because I love you. I always have. And you? You love me. No. No, I don't. Yeah, I did once. Once. There wasn't anything I wouldn't do for you. But that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, well, it can be. It can be the same thing again. All we need to do is pick up the thread. No! Do you know what? I really care about you. And I wish you well. But I don't love you anymore. So what the hell's the last few days been about then? I've just been friendly. I don't think so. You were following your heart. And now you're following your head because you think it's too bloody late to cancel this ridiculous wedding. You couldn't be more wrong. Really? So you really love that little drummer boy? I don't think so. Just go, will you? Okay. You tell me, Elizabeth, that you love Vernon. And I'll never bother you again, I swear. Mom? Yeah, thanks. None of my business. None of my business, Elizabeth. I love you. I don't care what anyone else says. As far as I'm concerned, you are my wife and you always will be. Do you understand me? telling me that you want to marry a snivelling apology of a man like that? Well, no way, Elizabeth, you're mine! Where is it? Stupid! You see, you're not listening to me, Vernon. Do you think for one minute I'm going to let you take my wife away from me? No chance! She loves me, not you! You stupid! You want to get through it? Stephen, no! You want her to marry that no more? He said a life! No! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh. I'm so sorry! Just help him get him inside, will you? Come on! Come on! Just go, you! You're gonna make a terrible mistake, Elizabeth. Please! Stephen, I'm only doing that! Oh, for... forget it! I swallowed your sub story up line of flaming sinker! No! I gave you a job! I gave you money! I rolled out the red carpet for you! All because I thought you wanted to change! Because you want to be a granddad for Amy. I do, I do. No, so you don't. What I do. No, I you do. don't. It was all about this. You promised me, promised me you'd leave him alone, but you couldn't, could you? You just couldn't let it go. Just, just go, will you? Oh, oh this is sorry. We well, don't look it. I've just told him what happened. Look, I feel bad about lashing out. Honest to God, I do. But like I said, it proves a point, doesn't it? What proves a point? Well, sometimes you've got to learn when to stick, and other times you've got to learn when to fold. And I mean, your mother folded. You just called the wedding off. I... Wait a minute. Have you told him? That... Well, it was hardly a secret. They sent a the lot of us packing from the registry. She called the wedding back on you, idiot. What? what you are yeah, just... just after you done your flipping Rambo impression. <laughs> Lloyd, give us a minute, will you? You didn't think to ring me before I hit the motorway. Lloyd? Or leave a message for when I got back. Lloyd? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just the house boy. Oh, my God. I mean, I thought for a long... Dad, you thought that your charm offensive would work. Well, it didn't. It blew up in your face, so I'm sorry if you've come here for sympathy. I haven't come here for sympathy. I've come here because I care. I care about your mother and I care about this family, that's why. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're not a part of this family anymore. Oh, well, thanks very much indeed. Why don't you give me a dig in the bake when I'm on the floor? You and Weatherfield, finished. You and me mum, finished. Well, what about you and me? Finished. Oh, come on, son. After all the trust I've put in your things, I've done for you. No, I'm sorry, the party's over. <laughs> Stephen, let me say goodbye to my granddaughter. I'm not above begging. Hey, 
Ah, well, well, well. Is it right there's a wedding going on in here? Jim? Dad. Jim? Dad. Hey, Stephen, you look dead on, so you do. Surprised? Uh, well, not entirely. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, now, Elizabeth, I could ask you the very same question. Hmm? I was told you were in Spain. Did you know about this? Kind of. Well, when I was the last person to know. So, who told you we were in Spain? Um, that'd be me. Oh, oh wow. Look at you. You look fantastic. Thanks, Liz. And I'll second that. Eh? Well, now it looks like you've had the thumbs up from the whole family. <laughs> this fantastic woman snuck behind my back and fixed it so that my dad could come because she knew how much it would mean to have all my family here. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get the full set, though. Hey, you two, no fighting, yeah? She the best woman in the world or what? No, 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 no. She's not said you can kiss the bride yet. Come on, Ryston. Well, come on then. Let's get on with it because I have got to kiss this woman. <laughs> I love him when he's gagging for it. <laughs> you get us very quick, Jack. How come it's so heavy? Upstairs. We have to search the entire premises. All right. Can I go with them then? Be my guest. <sighs> Elizabeth, you want me to go with you? No. You keep an eye on Steve. It's not fair. <sighs> Jump. Are you okay? Need the gents. <sighs> you shouldn't drink so much beer. Oh, I beg you. It's obviously some kind of mix. I always feel guilty around coppers. Hey, come on. You got your wires crossed. This is obviously a mistake. Oh, well, this is a wind up. I mean, is this some kind of joke you've come up with, Andrew? Hey, come hmm. give over. That, it's the wrong pub. Look, trust me. You're not going to find anything here. No one goes in till we're done. Oh, I've had five pints, mate. I'm bursting. Sorry. I'm so proud of you today. You looked quite magnificent. Thanks. Could do without the cabaret, though, eh? He's not a drug addict. He's a butcher. The toilets are closed. It was just had a vasectomy. Still feeling a bit sore, aren't you? Ben? Can't you go with him? You could watch. Well, uh, I mean, make sure he's not doing anything other than what he's meant to do. All right. Come on. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm not doing anything. I saw you. So what? You put your arm down, Liz. So what if I did? What's it going to do with you? She's with me now, mate. You what? <laughs> I've been going out for nearly a year now. <laughs> hey, you're looking for someone who's taking drugs. Here's your man. Hey, back off, I mean it. <clears throat> now, you listen to me, sunshine. You do not tell me what to do. You get my drift? Yeah, uh, blood pressure. Never I guessed it. To be quite honest, I still can't quite believe it. I believe it. I'm sure Becky told me that Elizabeth had been in Spain with Andy for months. That's right. Well, you weren't with her? No. Oh, I see. So it's a... Oh, excuse me. So it's like a long-distance relationship? But my relationship with Liz has got nothing to do with you, Jim. Well, you brought it up. Yeah, because you were hitting on it. I wasn't hitting on Oh, excuse me. I wasn't hitting on her. I was supporting her like any good friend would. What were you doing, eh? Skulking. Skulking about in a corner. Look, just keep your paws off, eh? She's not interested in you anymore. Ah, well, now that's for her to say, isn't it? Look, she just doesn't want you complicating things. Oh, I see. Well, you want to know what I think, Lloyd? I don't think you want me complicating things. I'll tell you this and I'll tell you no more. Lloydy, I am one big ex-husband twice over complications so I am. What is going on with you two? You might have told me your mother was going out with your best man, Stephen. Oh, when did that happen? You two have come. Whoa, wait a minute here. Back on. Look, we're just going through a tricky patch, oh. all right? And we don't need Big Jim throwing his weight around. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Is it not bad enough the flipping drug squad are raiding my wedding reception? Your man brought it up. You were hitting on her. 
He told me to back off. Oh, well, go on then, it's him. Oh, catch yourself on, Stephen. I'm not going to hit him. Oh, who's hitting who now? No, oh, these two want to have a fight. No one wants oh, to no. have a fight. Well, shut up then. It's turning into a flipping nightmare. <sighs> Kept an eye on him. Not going to find him. The waste in the time. Is everything OK down here? Fine. All right. I just want to close my eyes and make it all go away. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, love. One day we'll look back at this and laugh, eh? Is this yours? No. Hey, we've never had any trouble in this pub. If I even thought anyone was even thinking about dealing drugs in here, I'd have them out of that door so fast the feet would... Found this behind the bar. Oh, that's my bag, but I... I... Well, that's not mine. She's put that in there. No. I saw her find it. No, there's been a mistake. Are you sure? Becky, what's going on? Eh? No, this is a setup. Honest to God, we... You know what they're like. Becky, how'd that stuff get in your bag? I, I don't know. I... I've never brought drugs into this pub, I swear. This is what they do, you know. They plant stuff on innocent people, Ailey, Roy. You've already admitted no. this is your bag. Yeah, yeah, it's my bag. It's not my drugs and not my money. I... Becky McDonald, I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession of a controlled drug with intent to supply. Please, no. You do not have to say anything. No, anything you no, do say, no, if you don't mention stop, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. I didn't do anything. Anything you say may be taken. I didn't do anything. <laughs> right. Put her in the car. Oh. Sorry, oh, folks, please. it's going to take some time. Everyone stay please, here. Please, I didn't do anything! Steve! Steve! Help me! Good man. I don't know. So, uh, why didn't you tell me about you and Lloyd? <clears throat> I'm going to go and try one of them sausage rolls. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to tell. <laughs> well, that's not what he says. No. <laughs> he told me to back off. He reckons you two are an item, so he does. We were. Not anymore. Oh. Well, you better tell him that, Elizabeth, because I don't think he's got the message. <sighs> She's being interviewed. Human nightmare. Oh, stupid thing. Mother, come here. There. Come on. Oh, I don't know why we're bothering anyway. Nobody's going to come in now. Apart from those of Becky's customers who haven't heard we've been raided. You don't buy this idea she was set up then, no? Andy, I know her. You don't. Elizabeth, look at the time. Mind if I tell you something? People around here, you see, they are creatures of habit, so they are. If you shut the door, they'll wait and find another boozer, so they will. Open up! They'll be in here as usual. Take it from me. And what am I supposed to do? Pretend nothing's happened when Steve's life is in such a mess? Mum, just leave Steve to sort that out. Right, well, I kept expecting him to come to his senses and that this wedding had never happened. Look, what have you always told me? It's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I did. And I wouldn't blame either of you if you just stepped back and let me think. See? They're knocking on the door already. Hello there. Let's see. Hello. Come on. <laughs> First of the big drinkers. I hope we're not intruding. Of course not. Drink. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> is, is there any news on Becky at all? She's upstairs. What, they let her go? Bailed. May, may we see her? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure that she'd appreciate a friendly face. Come through. Thanks. More people she's conned. Did you see Stephen? Uh, he's gone out with Becky. Oh, where? I don't know, I'm afraid. What about your mother? Is she in? She is, yeah, but the uh, uh, mood she's in, you probably might be best leaving it for a bit. Oh, I see, you're right. Well, I'll stir fry. Oh, hi. Your mother told me I'd find you out here. Listen, then. Andy's getting ready to go, so he is. Right. 
You look tired, Stephen. Yeah, well, it gets a bit knackering trying to look on the bright side. Like you said, you've seen a brief. <laughs> Felt a lot of good that did. I mean, we know who set her up. We even know who planted the gear. Is that your man Slug, the fellow who disappeared? Yeah. So we tell the solicitor this, and he says that it won't make a difference. I mean, he couldn't give a toss what happens as long as he's getting paid. But it's not even him. I'm angrier. You know, my wife is getting sent to prison for something she didn't do, and I can't do anything at all. How many men have you got working for you at the cab company, son? I don't know, 15 with part time. 15. And how many cab companies are there in Manchester? Dozens. Why? Well, if I was looking for someone, they'd be the boys I'd go and ask for help, so I would. Yep. <laughs> don't you worry your head, son, it'll be all right. Oh, come on, soft lads, break it up, will ya? Got a plane to catch me, ain't I, eh? Um, you got any photos of Slug? Might have. Why, do you want one for dartboard? Nope. I want to make a load of copies of him and give them to every cab driver in Manchester. Did you know your son was a flipping genius? Well, he never inherited my look, so he had to make up for it somehow, eh? Oh, well, safe journey and call the minute you get back. I will. I mean it. See you in a minute. Uh, well, uh, Elizabeth, I'm uh, way on to the airport as well, so I'll just say my goodbyes now, eh? You take care of yourself. Right. You too. Rita. Thanks for coming to the wedding. Ah, oh, well, just try and make sure this one lasts, eh, Steve? I can't afford all the presents, mate. See you later, Bob. Well, son, all the best. Really? And I hope things work out for you and Becky. I really do. Thank you. See you, son. See you. <laughs> Elizabeth. You didn't think I was going to let you leave without saying a proper goodbye, did you? Oh. Jim? Uh, just checking, I've still got my wallet. Oh. I'll see you soon, Elizabeth. Not you care. Look, Steve, about what happened this morning. Save your apologies. Oh, I'm going to apologise. I just wanted to say the next time you bite me head off, just leave it until Amy's out the room, eh? Thought of that uniform turning up on the doorstep. Well, no, that's very touching, so it is, but. Well, here I am, still fit and raring to go. Hey, come here, you. <laughs> <Be back. laughs> Hi, I get a hug off that gorgeous wife of yours. Come here, you. You try and stop me, man. You're right. Oh, oh, let me know as bad as I thought I was. I've already told you, Alison. Yeah, right. Ooh, and uh, this one's from me. Uh huh. Now it's a hand-me-down, but I thought yours could do with an upgrade. It's got a camera and everything. Well, what's wrong with me? We want. Well, apart from the fact it never works and looks like it's been eaten by a dog, nothing. Oh, and uh, this one does text message and it's not Morse code. Oi, behave yourself. And by the way, where is your mother? She's at a brewery function. Oh, a brewery? F well, that's nice, isn't it? I can't visit and she goes away in a brewery. Dad, Dad, trust me, I think it's best for both of you. Steve. Ah, uh, that sweet man must be Maxie. Yeah, he can be a little bit shy, isn't he? Oh, we're uh, looking after Max while Becky's sister's away. Oh, is that right? I never knew you had a nephew. <laughs> I've been until a few months back. Yeah, I'll have come on, check a leg. He's off to his first ever sleepover. Is he not? Yeah. So you're going to say goodbye to your granddad, Jim, then? <laughs> Cheerio yeah. now. Oh. Won't be long, love. Well, now he's a bonny wee lad, so he is. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He was a foreigner. 
What's done is done. You can't keep beating yourself up over your mistakes. Hey, if I did that, I'd be black and blue, wouldn't I, love? <laughs> I would love you. Yeah. Now, listen, Dad, she's right. You know, you've got to look forward. Mm -hmm. Look forward to what? I mean, if I could turn the clock back and Then you win the lottery every week, but that ain't going to happen. Well, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, I won the lottery. Hmm? The night I met Elizabeth this morning. And what did I do then? I blew it. And as a matter of fact, where is she now? I'll tell you what, son, she's avoiding me, so she is. No. Oh, that's silly, that. No, it's, it, she, she, she's had this time looked up for ages. Ah, well, whatever you say, son. Mm -hmm. oh. Um. Nice start. Jim MacDonald. Who wants to know? I recognise you from the photographs. Photographs? The ones in Liz's bedroom. Huh? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Yours, I think. Uh, and exactly who are you, a fella? <laughs> fella? <laughs> well, there's only one fella in Elizabeth's life. And it's certainly not you, so it's not. Well, you broke up ten years ago, so it's certainly not you. How long have you been around? Five minutes? That's not where I stand. So, did she tell you to bring these back, did she? She's here to let you know the score. <laughs> I thought not. You aren't wanted. Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather hear that from the organ grinder, not the monkey. Well, that's the problem, Jim. Don't you Jim me? You've heard it from her a million times and still not got the message. I'll tell you what, son. Why don't you go outside and play and let the grown-ups sort this out? You're on another planet, mate. Ah, oh, indeed I am. Same planet as Elizabeth. That's why you and uh, the other three-minute wonders will never understand. Just stay away from her, OK? Are you still here? What's your hit rate? One job in ten. A charge? Yeah, then you would get nothing. <laughs> what about you, son? Evening. Your mother about? Uh, she's at Deirdre's. Oh, well, well, we meet again. Eh? Has he, uh, has he been telling you about the flowers? I was. Hmm. I bought your mother some flowers. Your man here intercepted them. He just brought them back to me at the flying horse, so he has. I, uh, I think it's called Mark and McCard, you know what I mean? So, uh, Better just make it a swift one for me, and then I'll get out your hair. Oh, we should do this more. The walls and ceiling. So your dad just come in. Yes, it is. All right, Dad. What about you, son? Just sort of pop in, see you and we, Amy. Again, you're becoming a regular. Oh well, there you are now. There was a pint. Did your mother about? Hairdressers. Oh. Nature calls. I wonder what he wants. He's just said to see me. Sure, he's still not sniffing around your mother. No, no, it's all ancient history. Go on, carry on with what you were saying. Yeah, it's the leak that's causing the damage. No, oh, don't. I mean, four. What, they just set about, yeah? Well, there's the usual spilt drink and all that sort of carry on, you know. And they just got tore into me. I never stood a chance with it. Would you get a good look at him? <laughs> don't you worry your head. I'll recognise those boys again. Are you going to tell the police? Yeah. It's a scrap and a boozer, it happens, you know. I'll just not get in there again, that's all. Anyway, listen, it was nice to see you and all that, but I've got to get off. I've got stuff to do. All right, so. Listen, I need a week. No, take your time. So, so you look after yourself. You see, Jim, the, the trick is, is knowing which pubs you're not welcome in. Eh? Add the Rovers to your list. I don't eat all them grapes at once. They'll give you indigestion. Right, son. Between you and me, that wasn't just an ordinary scrap and a boozer, you know. So what was it then? A game of Twister that got out of hand? When you came to see me yesterday, uh, your man Owen had a word in my ear, so he did. About what? Staying away from your mother. I don't understand. Those four lads had jumped me. They knew exactly who I was. Somebody set me up so they did. What, and you think it was him? Well, I can't prove anything, son. Don't you trust him? Hmm? Something else, son. <laughs> you keep an eye 
on your mother for me. You do that? Yeah, sure. Right. No, come on. You grab my bag and we'll have that paint. Well, even a wanted lily 